Hey friends, we can all agree the crock pot is a wonderful invention. Even though it slow cooks, it actually saves us a lot of time in the kitchen. Tonight, I'm sharing some crock pot recipes where you have just a little bit of prepping, toss four or five ingredients in, sprinkle in some good seasonings, set it to forget it, and you come back home to a delicious meal that has your kitchen smelling amazing. It's crock pot time. We're gonna make a chicken bacon ranch pasta. I'm gonna start by spraying my crock pot really well. I'm putting in about one pound of chicken breast. Could probably get away with three of these, but the packages I thought out had two each, so that's what we're going with. They're kind of small. I'm gonna season this with some salt and some black pepper, about a half a teaspoon of some paprika, and a half teaspoon of onion powder. And it wouldn't be ranch chicken without a big tablespoon of some ranch seasoning powder. Can't forget a big tablespoon of minced garlic as well. Now I'm going to top it with a 15 ounce jar of Alfredo sauce. Use your favorite kind. And at this point, a lot of people like to put the bacon portion in, but I like to wait until the end when everything is done. That way it's good and crispy. If you can't tell from the seasonings, this is a Luke Brown cooking in the Midwest recipe. If you're not already, you need to be following him. He's on TikTok, Instagram, and he's got a Pinterest page. He does lots of quick and easy recipes like this. He doesn't use a lot of crazy ingredients that you wouldn't be able to find. Cooking this on low for four to six hours until that chicken is thoroughly done. It's been about four and a half hours. Everything smells delicious, looks delicious, and I'm just going to use my little mix and chop tool to shred my chicken up right here in the crock pot. If you want to, you can pull it out and chop it up into more bite-sized pieces, but I don't mind mine being shredded up like this at all. Still have my crock pot on low. And I'm just going to put a big, generous cup of mozzarella cheese on here. Stir it around just a little bit. Going to pop the lid back on here so all that can get melted up. Meanwhile, over on the stove, I'm cooking up 16 ounces of penne pasta. Use any kind of short pasta that you would like here. Now that your pasta is cooked up, I'm just going to dump it all right in this crock pot. Of course, I did drain it first. <laughs> And now, I'm gonna mix all of it together with this yummy chicken mixture. The flavor of this is a lot like the crack chicken Alfredo lasagna roll-ups that I make, but you don't have to roll it up. This dish can easily feed a family of four with tons of leftovers for lunches. It's perfect for a big family dinner night. I don't know anybody who doesn't love these flavors. It's also one of those recipes that is so easy and works so perfectly to be cut in half for just a smaller family of two to three people. And even then, you'll probably have some leftovers because, you know, it stretches a really long way. It is quick, so easy, and oh so delicious. You just dump and go. Then all you have to do when you get home is boil your pasta. On really busy weeknights, I'll use the bags of pre-cooked bacon bits. Mmm, it is so flavorful and oh, 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 so delicious. If you take a quick look at my channel, you'll easily see that my main focus is quick and easy weeknight dinner type content. My passion is to help our families stay connected by gathering around the dinner table again. But our busy schedule and our full days seem to make it feel impossible to do. And I'm talking to myself here as well. I still need help. And that's okay. I like to share what helps me with you. And over the last year, HelloFresh has helped me save time, money, and some stress by delivering fresh ingredients and chef-crafted recipes right to my door at a price that I like. I'll let you in on a little secret. Sometimes I just stare into my fridge waiting for a sign of what in the world I can cook this week. I'd say you and I have a lot in common. We get tired of planning the meals, going to buy the groceries, and then cooking the same old things. With HelloFresh, you just choose your meals and delivery date. They handle the planning and shopping. When you open your box, it has each meal's farm fresh ingredients pre-portioned out 
and easy step-by-step -step recipes to cook right along with. They keep dinner time hassle-free and less wasted food. I'm always ready for my HelloFresh delivery week and not just for the break it gives me, but also for the new recipe ideas I get. It's a great way for us to try something new. They have over 45 recipes to choose from each week. They even have their own quick and easy meals and some of them only take 15 minutes. And nearly every HelloFresh recipe that I've made has some kind of sauce to make and it just takes everything up a notch. I always keep my recipe cards so I can recreate my favorites. And they have a great offer for my viewers today. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code MAMAFREE for free breakfast for life. One free breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's code MAMAFREE at HelloFresh.com for free breakfast for life. And thanks HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Today, we're making one of my husband's very most favorite things that I make him, and it is Salisbury steak. And I love it because it's made in a crock pot, but it tastes just like good old home style Salisbury steak. And today, I'm just using one pound of ground beef. Normally, I use a pound and a half, so the measurements will be a little different today. Putting in one egg yolk, calls for about a third of a cup of minced onion. I'm just putting in a big handful of the dried minced onion. Fresh works well in here too, but I just really like using this. Calls for a third of a cup of panko breadcrumbs. I'm just putting a fourth of a cup. Original recipes, three tablespoons of milk. I'm just gonna put two in. And do we ever really measure garlic? <laughs> put it in till your heart is happy. Also cracking in a good amount of black pepper and a little bit of salt. You just use your own taste on this. Now just gently combine all this together. This Salisbury steak is probably one of my favorite. The thing that I love about this Salisbury steak is number one, it's so easy, simple ingredients. And second thing, making it in the crock pot. It just takes on all, all the flavors. Patty mine out into four patties that are roughly the same size. It is not 100% necessary to brown your patties, but if I have the time, I really like to do it. I think it gives it a beautiful flavor, and I think it kind of helps the patties to like stay together better in the crock pot, because there's been many days, I've let this cook all day. Like when I worked outside the home, I would put this on way early in the morning and let it cook all day. While my patties are browning up, I'm just gonna slice up a little bit of onion here, little, probably a little less than half, to go in the bottom of the crock pot. Let you in on a little secret too. Back in the day when my kids were little and I did work outside the home, the last thing I wanted to be doing in the morning was browning meat before I put it in the crock pot. I had enough to do. So many times I would do all this prep work, even browning these meat patties, then I would put them in the refrigerator and all I had to do in the morning was dump and go all this stuff together. I would even put the drippings from my pan into the gravy so I would be sure and have that flavor. Now let's mix up our gravy mixture and for this I still make the full amount because we love gravy. I'm starting with two cups of beef broth. I'm gonna sprinkle in one packet of the brown gravy seasoning dry mix of your choice. Two tablespoons of ketchup, whoops, <laughs> two tablespoons of ketchup, and I just eyeball that. I also eyeball one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Also stirring in about two tablespoons of parsley. Get all this mixed together and we're ready to assemble in the crock pot. We're going to go ahead and spray our crock pot. Put our onion slices down in the bottom. You can still hear our patties over here just browning up and it smells so good in here. If your family likes mushrooms, this is the layer that you would add you in, oh, maybe four or five ounces of mushrooms. Patrick likes the flavor of like cream of mushroom soup in things, whoops, but he does not like a mushroom to like to bite into one. Now that my patties are pretty and brown, I'm just gonna lay them in my crock pot, and today I'm using my four quart crock pot. It's the perfect size for four patties. 
and I really just feel like it gets hotter than my six quart. Isn't that weird? And you know, I'm gonna pour this grease right in here. I can't help myself. <laughs> and then we're just gonna take that gravy mixture and we're gonna pour it all over the top. Now this might look like a lot of gravy and it's okay because we can thicken this up after this is cooked if it's too much. But I always err on the side of more gravy <laughs> if I'm erring. <laughs> Gonna pop this little lady's lid on her and I'm cooking mine on low for about five hours. Getting a late start today so it should be ready six o'clock at the dinner time hour. It's been five hours. Mmm, smells good. Looks delicious. I definitely want to thicken up my gravy. If it was real crowded, I would remove my patties, but I'm not going to do that. I am just going to mix me up a little slurry with one part cornstarch and two parts water and mix this in here and let this sit on high while I finish up my salad. Right now, I'm loading my Cuisinart up with about 16 ounces of cottage cheese. I'm conducting an experiment today. <laughs> now I'm adding in one pack of the ranch salad dressing mix. I follow an account called In Jamie's Kitchen on TikTok and Instagram, and she made a ranch dressing or a ranch dip using this seasoning packet, but using this cottage cheese. I'm gonna put my top on it, and I'm gonna blend and grind it down Till this does not look like cottage cheese. If you have a Nutribullet or one of those mixers where it has like the cup attachment where you make smoothies and stuff, it would work perfect for this. Let's see what we've got so far. The consistency right now is like a dip. We will give it a quick little taste test. Of course, it's going to be better after it's set a while. Flavor's good. Flavor's very, very good. Like I said, right now, it's like a dip. You can add in a little bit of milk, maybe a tablespoon at a time here, to make it more liquidy, like a dressing. Mine's still pretty thick. I'm going to add just a little bit more milk. You could also add pickle juice. That's something that Jamie did to hers but I'm going to stick with milk. That does not have any of the cottage cheese like consistency left in it. You don't see any of that. I'm gonna put this in a container. We'll try it with dinner tonight and it tastes really good. And the whole purpose in doing this is because serving sizes. Most all of us eat more than what the serving size is for ranch dressing. You can have a lot more of this for a lot fewer calories. And it's got a lot of protein in it too with this cottage cheese. This Salisbury steak is like a good old country comfort meal, but it's so easy to throw it in the crock pot and just let the slow cooker do all the work for you. Of course, I gotta have a little bit of mashed potatoes with that gravy, but I made about half of my plate salad. Speaking of salad, let's talk about that salad dressing. It was pretty good. The taste was great. The flavor was good, but it really is better as a dip for me. I couldn't keep it runny enough, so I'm having to add milk every time I pull it back out of the refrigerator, which kind of is defeating the purpose of it. Mine's a little grainy, but probably if you had like a Vitamix or a Nutribullet, or like a real blender mixer, you could get rid of some of that graininess. I will have you a link down in the description box for the original measurements of the Salisbury steak. It's going to take you right to my website where you can either print off a recipe or you can pin it to your Pinterest board. That's where I'm storing all my recipes now. So when you go there, be sure and sign up for my newsletter. I'll be sending out updates and that kind of stuff. But you should get five of my family's most very favorite recipes that I don't have on my website right to your inbox when you sign up. I'm starting today with a little prep work. Got a pound of ground beef and one small onion that I'm browning up here in the skillet on top of the stove. I was all set to make lasagna soup today, friends. But every time I open my phone or my computer, this crock pot pizza casserole was staring me in the face. That's what we're making today. I changed my mind. 
I'm also boiling up about two thirds of this 16 ounce box of pasta. The recipe calls for the entire pound of it, but I'm gonna back off just a little bit on the amount of pasta that I use. And I'm just gonna cook this till under al dente. I don't want it fully cooked because it is gonna cook in a crock pot for a couple hours. Into my ground beef and onions, I'm gonna put two big spoonfuls of minced garlic. Let's get all this mixed together and let it flavor up this ground beef. Okie dokie, let's assemble. I have sprayed my crock pot. I'm gonna put in one can of diced tomatoes and I'm gonna add in all of the juice here. I'm also gonna chop these up just a little bit. I usually get them cut up smaller, the petite diced. And this recipe actually calls for two 24 ounce jars of marinara sauce. I have one jar of Classico fire roasted tomato and garlic, and I have almost a full jar of a pizza sauce. And I want to use this to kind of even give it a more pizza-y flavor, but this jar of pizza sauce was just 14 ounces. I probably had 12 ounces in it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more liquid. Probably still not a total of 48 ounces, but I believe it'll do. Also gonna put in about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning and about a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm also gonna throw in some pepperoni. I couldn't tell you how much. This recipe said to use like a full little three and a half ounce container, but I'm just gonna put enough in here to give it a pizza feel. Pepperoni's not my favorite. Let's go ahead and kind of stir all this and mix it in a little bit. Now I'm gonna take this pound of ground beef. It's got my onions and my garlic in it. If you wanted peppers, mushrooms, olives, anything like that in here, anything you like on a pizza, put it in. You can either soften it or cook it up with your meat, or you can just throw it in here. For example, I'm just throwing in a couple big handfuls of some baby spinach. We mix it in with our regular salads, but I also like to throw it in things. We're gonna take one of our cups of mozzarella cheese and stir it in now. And I thought about wilting this spinach down in my meat mixture, but I thought, no, it's gonna be cooking about three or four hours in here. I'm just gonna let it cook down in a crock pot. Now we're gonna put our pasta over in here and very carefully, we're gonna mix all this up together. Pop the lid on her, and I'm cooking this on low for three to four hours. Everything is already cooked. We're just letting it all come together. And this is a six quart crock pot. That's probably important to know in a recipe that's this large. It has been three hours. Oh, it smells good. Oh, yummy. I'm gonna give it a little stir here. Pasta's perfect. I don't think it's gotten overdone. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and see those pepperonis in there. I bet Patrick and Maddie will be wishing I had put more in. It's really not much for this big <laughs> dish of stuff. Now I'm just gonna take a one more cup of mozzarella, put it right over the top. I'm gonna pop this lid back on just long enough for that to melt. I am so happy that I made this one. It was absolutely delicious. I was thinking about making half of it, and I'm so glad I went ahead and made it all. This is a perfect Friday crock pot meal. I had a little bit of time this morning to get it in here. Then I could catch up on everything I needed to for the day. We've got a good hearty dinner, and I'm planning on going and playing tomorrow, so Patrick will have something good to eat while I'm gone. You've got to give this one a try. Your pizza lovers are going to love this. And of course, you can add more pepperoni than I did. Check out this video next if you need some more inspiration. It's one of my most popular crock pot videos. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you spending some time with me. Until next week, I send you love from my kitchen.